for you. The only thing I can give you is that Jansen has been released. Uh, and, and we'll deal with the three situations coming up. But until we have all the information, I can't, I can't comment any further. Certainly, it's, you prided yourself on, on running a program that's, that's disciplined and that's been your mantra since you've come in. It's got to hurt you from that regard to see something like this happen off the field. Well, we're gathering all the information, so we don't know exactly what happened. Um, unfortunately, there was an incident. We made it 11 months and 11 days without any incidents, so we'll deal with this as the information comes in. Have you been able to talk to any of them? Uh, we'll deal with this as it comes in, and I can't comment further on. <laughs> Jim Haslam well, was at practice today. That's kind of a rare occurrence. Was he here as a vote of confidence for you or just kind of to address the team? Yeah, Jim's been here every Thursday all, all season long, so that's very normal. Lane, it was 2.30 in the morning or, or thereabouts. I mean, do you have any sort of curfew in place, or particularly for freshmen, is there supposed to be a curfew? Yeah. First of all, the information that I have does not say that that's the time, but I'm not going to comment any further on this. Can you say if it's an indefinite suspension or anything like that for them right now? No, I can't say anything. Like that. We don't have all the information in. We get it all in. We'll make a comment just as the flight director said today. Lane, is it important for you to, to have some sort of resolution before the game on Saturday? Uh, I don't know. But we got to get the information in. So um, we're not going to make any judgments until we have all the information in. And then we'll go, and we'll go from there once we get it. Well, if Jansen's been released, would you anticipate, I mean, would it, could he be available Saturday? have to get all the information in, you know, talk to all the people and figure out exactly what happened. Like I said, the only thing I have on it is that Jance has been released. What did you say to the guys to get them to focus on practice today? Well, it's got, it's got nothing to do with what's going on with these guys. Um, we need to have a good practice day to prepare for a big time game. And I thought the guys came out today, had a really good practice, thought they were very sharp, very focused. Good meetings, good intensity out here, but we still have a lot of work to do for the game. The fact that Jansen and New Keys have both had recent incidents, I mean, does that make this any more disappointing or factor in in any way? There's no disappointment. There's no nothing right now because I don't have all the information in. So once we get all the information in, we'll make a decision. Lane, when were you made aware of what happened? I'm not, I'm not going to get into all the, all the stuff. Yet. That's it. That's it. Okay? We're going to practice. Practice today was really good. I thought the guys performed really well. We're very focused. Got to get ready for a big time game. Prentice and Darren at least got in last week because of that situation. But what do you see from them? Do you have an edge? Who might get the start there on Saturday? Uh, I, I don't know. Um, I know that both have practiced. It, pra Prentice has practiced really well. Um, Darren was out here and moved around better today. Had not moved around very much all week. Um, so we'll have to test him out tomorrow and on game day. Lane, because of the severity of the allegations, is this out of your hands to a certain degree? Is, is Mike and, and maybe the university involved more in what's going to take place? Okay. Let me clear this up. We're not addressing any more any more questions about this. If you guys have questions about practice or the game, feel free.